So this very interesting meeting today dedicated to cervical cancer prevention has given great messages to gynecologists and the public on how to best prevent cervical cancer. There's been many talks on vaccination and my particular lecture was on the impact that treatment for cervical precancer has on future pregnancies and more specifically on the risk of premature birth. We have conducted a lot of research on this field and it is now accepted that treatment for cervical precancer with local conization of the area of the cervix that has the precancerous cells increases the risk of premature birth and mid-trimester loss in a subsequent pregnancy. And this is a very important message for patients, for doctors and for the public as it is very important that treatment is offered only in those cases that it is actually needed. So for the treatment of high-grade cervical pre-invasive disease, this is called in medicine CAN 2 or 3, and that women that do not need treatment are not treated. It is also important to recognize that when they actually get pregnant they belong to a high-risk population so that possibly antenatal interventions are offered to minimize the risk of premature birth.